Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as I mentioned in my Mulan video recently, I picked up a bunch of stuff from Hot Topic over the weekend using my Hot Cash, and I got a couple of things that Her Universe released during Comic Con, including these Little Mermaid brushes. I am so excited about these. They actually called them the Dingle Hopper brush set. A Dingle Hopper. You guys, Little Mermaid has to be my absolute favorite Disney movie. I mean, I'm I'm definitely a fan of all the classics like the Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, things like that, but Little Mermaid will always and forever be my favorite. So I've been wanting them to do like a Little Mermaid palette forever. Maybe this is a step in that direction, but a brush set? I'll take it. <laughs> so let's get into the details of this. So this is from Her Universe. It is a Disney branded product. It's sold at Hot Topic. Um, it's a four brush set, the Dingle Hopper makeup brush set, and it does retail for $26.90. It's currently on sale for $21. Um, that's not really far off from the other Her Universe brushes. I think the uh, Star Wars brush set that they released was $20, and that was three. So um, for $26, you're getting four. So let me take them out of the packaging so you can see the brushes up close. All right, so these are all the brushes right here. Let me just show you one of them up close and hopefully it'll focus good enough on it. So you do have the gorgeous pearl detailing all over the handle. It says gadgets and gizmos on the handle, which is super cute. So it definitely is just a brush that's like glued probably onto this handle. The handle actually feels really nice and hefty. I'm actually impressed by how heavy these feel. Now, they do not of course feel as heavy as something like my Storybook Cosmetics Wizard Wand brushes, but it's got a good little heft to it. So there are four brushes. The box does not specify what each brush is supposed to be used for, so you're kind of just on your own there, but I mean, I feel like you can just use a brush for whatever you want to. You don't always have to use it for its purpose. So I'll show you the tip of each one so you can see. So. You have this one, which is kind of like a fluffier, semi-flat brush. I'm gonna attempt to use this one to blend some shadow in the crease. You have a more flat brush. Mine, you'll see, has been kind of squished maybe in the packaging. It's got a little point to it now, but I think I can work around that. You have a pencil brush, detailing brush. This will be really good for like under the lash line. And then this brush, clearly a larger brush. I am gonna try using this for highlight. So I didn't put any highlight on and we will use this for highlighter. So I figured the best way to test out these brushes would be to do one eye with my usual brush set, which for the most part is my Storybook Cosmetics Wizard Wands brushes. Those are the ones I use the most. And then I do have a highlighting brush that I always use and this is from Sephora. So I'm gonna use these four brushes on this half of the face and then on this half I will use the Little Mermaid brushes and that way you guys can see, I'll have a better feel for how they worked. Um, and I figured I would go ahead and use my Norvina palette. I got this in the mail and I haven't really done anything other than swatch it yet. And since I'm gonna go ahead and use my regular brushes on the first eye, that way I'll know that it has nothing to do with the shadows. Cause I figured since this is kind of the first time I'm putting it on my eyes, that's probably a good thing to make sure of that. So let me do this eye off camera and then I'll come back and do the left eye to show you guys. I did already prime this eye and I, kind of scary going out of a fork. I already primed the eye and set it with just like a translucent setting powder. So I'm going to go in with the fluffier of the two flattish brushes first. And I'm gonna go into the shade Love here. And I'm gonna try to just start blending some color through the crease, which is what I did on the other eye. That actually did not do a bad job. So then with the same brush, I dipped into the shade Soul, the darker purple shade, and just kind of blended a little bit on this outer portion. Next up, I'm gonna use the actual flat brush and I'm gonna spray this with setting spray and we're gonna use it on both sides. I'm gonna do Celestial first and then the inner part with Wild Child. Okay, so I'm noticing that this brush does not seem to react well with being wet. I mean, it's not like it's doing anything bad, but you know, normally when I wet a brush, it really just helps that color stay. And that's what I did on this side. And it really just kind of 
amped up the color I feel like and I'm not noticing that as much on this side I feel like more it was harder to deposit color so maybe these are not going to be something that you would want to use wet next up is the detail brush so I'm going to do on the lower lash line a combination of soul on the outer portion and love on the inner portion And then for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to go into Dreamer. I'm just going to keep using this detail brush and I'm just going to pop it on the inner corner. This is dry. Pop it on the inner corner and drag it a little bit under as well as a little bit up. All right, so that's it. Let me add my winged liner, mascara, and lashes, and then I'll talk about my thoughts. Okay, before we finish up, I almost forgot about the fourth brush, which is the one I'm going to use for highlight. So I used my Sephora brush. So pretty pretty close and I'm using my Anastasia Starburst highlight. Let's see how this works. It works fine for highlight. It deposited the color just as much as my regular brush did. So that's good. All right. So now I feel like we've fully tested it out. We've done the eyes. We've done the highlight. I feel like everything performed just the same as my tried and true storybook cosmetics brushes with the exception of the super flat brush. Um, the one that I wet to put the shimmer all over my lid. And what I will say is I think honestly, the issue is using it wet. I think this brush just does not work well wet. So just so we know, I'm going to take it and go into this rose gold shade. It, it is dry now. I'm gonna get some rose gold product on my brush and I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand and see what happens. So it looks like you could successfully use this to put some shimmer on your lid as long as that shimmer shadow doesn't require being wet. That's the one thing about it. Sometimes the shadows themselves need to be wet or need something to amp them up a little bit. And in that case, you could always maybe use a wax adhesive primer, but I just don't think, I feel like this brush, when you wet it, it almost repelled the shadow. Like it did not even want to grip it in the pan, like to put product on the brush. So, but it seems to work just fine when it's dry. So that would be my recommendation to you is these brushes apparently just need to be used dry. Um, but yeah, I really liked, I really liked the kind of fluffy flat brush. I probably wouldn't use it to blend color through my crease because that's not what I use my other fluffy flat, fluffy flat brushes for. But I think it would be beautiful for packing some color on the lid, doing a little outer corner work or kind of buffing under the eye. I like that a lot. I really, really like this detail brush. Um, the pencil brush I have is a bit more short and dense, and this is a little bit longer, and it's got a little bit of give to it, but not too much. It's still got a nice little stiffness to it. I really like this, and I think I'm gonna enjoy using it, especially on the lower lash line. And as far as the highlight brush goes, I mean, it worked just as well as my regular highlighting brush. So I'm actually really happy about that because you guys see in all of my videos, I'm constantly using my wizard wand brushes. I'm using my mermaid brushes. I love themed brushes and I don't necessarily just want it to like sit on a shelf. So I will legitimately use this for my highlight. So yeah, I think overall, this is actually a really great brush set. I mean, especially if you're a Little Mermaid fan because if I'm being honest, I really wouldn't have cared if they had sucked as a brush. I would have just displayed them and I still would have been super happy because they are the cutest brushes I've ever purchased other than my Harry Potter wands. But I'm really happy that they actually turned out to be good brushes and that I can actually get some use out of them. So I will put them here on my counter. You guys will probably see them in future videos. If you're a Little Mermaid fan and you want something cute and affordable, I definitely recommend these. I think they are so so cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It's my first brush review. So if I didn't touch on anything that maybe you had a question about, just leave me a comment below and I will try my best to answer it. Other than that, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.